Hey there folks, so in this video I'm going to be going through the course canvas page just to give you a lay of the land, show you where some important pieces of information are, and just kind of help you navigate the course at the start. So you're going to sign on to canvas and then you can go to courses and then you're going to choose physics 111 section 410, which is this course. And then that's going to take you to this home page. So this home page is probably your landing point every single time you come onto Canvas. Um, this gives you some first steps for this course. So you're watching this, this video that you're currently watching. And then your next steps are to go into the learning modules. And there's another video that helps you navigate the modules that deliver all the course content. So this course is asynchronous, which means that we're not going to have any set meeting times for, for lectures or anything like that. Um, all those, everything that's going to have a set time is going to be optional. There, there's going to be due dates, obviously, but to reach those due dates, um, you're going to be able to set your own schedule. The only exception to that are the exam dates and times. So those are specific dates and in a specific time frame. So we'll upload it to Canvas and you'll be able to access the exam from 1030 and it'll need to be submitted, scanned and submitted by 12 noon. If, um, if for whatever reason you can't make a particular exam or time, uh, you need to let me know a week in advance so I can come up with a alternative time um, and alternative exam to to be able to meet those needs. I'm flexible, you know. You just need to 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 give me enough um, advance notice to be able to to come up with a workaround. So to the right here, you'll see that there's a to do list. This gives you all of the upcoming assignments that are due. And these links are, well, those titles are links, so it'll take you directly to those assignments. Um, I wouldn't necessarily just click on those assignments and do those because some of the information in between assignments don't have these to-do links. So the whole course content is going to be located in these module area. So you click on modules and then all of those to-do list that items are located within the module area. And so what you'll do is you'll start with this video tour, which gives you a rundown of how to work through these modules. And so if you want to get back to the home page where we were, all we need to do is click on home. Going through the, the rest of this left side, we have syllabus. So this is where you can download the syllabus. I highly recommend looking at it. It's going to contain information about the policies, uh, the grading scheme, the academic integrity, and um, the schedule for the course. So all you need to do is just click on it and you can download it. Here's the course summary below. This is going to be all of the turned in assignments um, and their due dates associated with them, due dates and times associated with them. And then over here, um, it's in the syllabus as well, but it's here uh, also the distribution for grades for these different assignments. And then coming to grades over here, this is where after you submit, um, this is where you want to check to see, um, to see your scores after I grade them, but more importantly to see the feedback that I give for those assignments because some of that feedback may help you on some of these later assignments. So if you ever have any questions um, with these assignments, uh, this is a spot where my feedback's going to show up where I can answer your questions. Coming down here to discussions, we're going to be using discussion boards in this course. 
Um, this is the first one that's just a general place to ask questions. Um, and for the start, it's a spot for you to introduce yourself to the class. And then the second one is, is how we're gonna be using discussions in this class, which is for the homework assignments. It's a way for y'all to kind of help each other when you get stuck on problems. And to, it's a way to, to bounce ideas off of one another. Smart Thinking Online Tutoring, that's just a free online tutoring source if you need it. Uh, policies and Protocols, that is just gonna link you to a URL where it gives the Anne Arundel Community College policies. VC Student Orientation, you're all signed up for that automatically. And so if you find that you're struggling with Canvas in general, navigating it, um, then that's going to be a spot for you to, to look through because it, it kind of just walks you through all the different things in Canvas. The other thing that you'll want to pay attention to is the inbox. That's where you're going to be seeing um, messages from me about upcoming due dates and other important pieces of information. So then just coming back to the home, the to wrap up, the next steps are to go to module zero and then watch the module zero video tour, which will go into detail about what you're gonna need to do to work your way through these modules.